I'm an OnlyFans model and a mom of four. Who's the better hockey player? Me, me, me. I used to own a salon and now I'm making over 50,000 a month. What kind of content do you post? Tell me, what do you think? I think there's 100% a stigma around being an OnlyFans model who is a mom. I was banned from my kids' football games, their cheerleading games because of what I do for a living. Does it ever make you jealous to know that older men get to see the big tours of your wife? What do you guys want to eat? You want me to make grilled cheese? No, no, daddy, daddy, daddy. Daddy? Oh, okay, well daddy makes better grilled cheese than I do. We have four kids. Chandler, Camden, Corey, and Carson. They are all under the age of 10, and they are wild. Oh, ah! Get off of me! I was here first! Well, get off of me! Kids, who's a better cook, a mom or dad? <laughs> dad, dad, mom, mom, mom! If I can get them to eat anything but mac and cheese, it's good. <laughs> I'm an OnlyFans model. I used to own a salon, and now I'm making over 50,000 a month. Our normal morning routine is usually, I'm at the gym in the morning, and then Matt's getting the kids ready. I come home and I get ready to shoot some content while everybody is getting on with their day. When I had salon, I was working long hours. I was there usually at 5 a.m. and I probably wouldn't leave until around 10. So I missed a lot of our home life. When the pandemic hit, I wasn't able to have a salon, so I had built a huge following already on TikTok with making videos with my son, dancing around, and I had a lot of followers ask me if I had an OnlyFans. And I honestly had no idea what that was, so I looked into it and I went to Matt and I asked him if I could do this, like if this was something that we would do together. If she comes to me with it and she's like, hey, I wanna do this, then I trust that she's already thought about it enough and, and researched everything and so I'm comfortable with it. I mean, you go to the beach and people are people's wearing clothes. swimsuits. Plus we have fun with it. It's not like something that I absolutely hate and we sacrifice for money. It's not like that. We have fun with the whole thing, so. I was thinking about like just like shooting some pictures and making some like TikToks and reel, doing more of like a country theme. When we first started doing OnlyFans, the first weekend we made about $7,000. I'm kind of infamous for my Daisy Dukes with the pockets, like that is my trademark. These need to be in a museum one day. So if I plan to shoot any content outside, I usually have Matt take the kids and they go and they do like a field trip, they'll go to the aquarium or they'll go do something that day. But if I'm going to be shooting inside the house, then they're typically like outside riding their four wheelers, helping with the animals or doing their chores. Does it ever make you jealous to know that older men get to see the big tours of your wife? No, I don't ever get jealous with uh, with people. So, I mean, I'm proud of her I anyway. You know, she's worked really hard to, to look the way that she looks, and she looks great, and she should be proud of herself. No it's joke. like driving a Ferrari or owning a Ferrari. You have this amazing, beautiful car that you want to show off. I mean, you want others to look at it, and you're proud of it. That's how we look at things, I think. I am ready to do some content. No cameras allowed. How have you explained Sarah's career to your children? I wanted to make sure that they heard from me what mommy was doing. To them, their mom is a TikTok influencer or a social media influencer, and, and they're, they're really proud of that. Why does your mom do her work? She models. Are you proud of mom? Yes. Why are you proud of mom? Because mommy is watching. I see mommy. She has this one feeling that no one can take this. Aww. I think when the boys get older, if I was doing this or if I wasn't, they would still have to deal with the fact that they have a hot mom. I also think that because my kids are little badasses, <laughs> that they'll whoop somebody's butt for talking crap on their mom. <laughs> Thank you. Getting ready for Corey's first game tonight. Do you think there is a stigma around being an OnlyFans model? 
I think there's 100% a stigma around being an OnlyFans model, but I think that the stigma is more associated with being an OnlyFans model who is a mom. I was banned from my kids' football games, their cheerleading games. I wasn't able to attend because of what I do for a living. Can I get you guys ready? Do you have everything in this bag? Perfect. So you have socks, you have your jersey. Corey and Kat, do you know why you had to stop playing football? Yeah, because the people were very mean to us. So then we didn't want to play anymore. How did that make you feel? We're going through Sad. that. That's how. That's actually how we got into hockey. When football ended, we took him right to uh, to learn to skate, which he was already doing, and, and they just kind of transitioned. And I think the perception is that you can't be a good mom if you're sexy, but in all actuality, I'm making a lot of money, I'm taking care of my family, and I'm able to provide for them. I think we're more dedicated to our kids, and I think that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day. Do you remember when and how she first told you that she was working on Oloe? My initial reaction is I was a little bit disappointed. I guess when I was growing up, I didn't think that doing pictures that showed, you know, more skin uh, was appropriate. I really didn't know much about it until I really got to learn and educate myself about what is, you know, OF. I think Sarah's doing it to impact people's lives and to show that it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin and be a woman of, you know, any, any stature and just go with being confident about yourself. I don't regret anything. I am really, really happy with where we are at in life, with what I've been able to do for my family. So Corey's game is at six. Okay. I'll cheer you guys on. Okay, sounds great. And you can have a margarita. Yeah. Yes, it is. I feel proud for what I'm able to do for my kids, but it also helps me know myself fully and be confident in the choices that I'm making and be confident in the things that I'm doing. I'm so happy, our kids are happy, we're happy, and the opportunities that we have are so amazing to live this life, and we're incredibly blessed. 